Hello, hello. This is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today I just want to give you a, a bit of an insight and rundown why I chose the Merca dustless system. There's a fair few different dustless systems out on the market, obviously. So I've done my investigating and I went through the YouTube and checked out everyone's reviews and everything like that. And I came up with me wanting to purchase the Merca system for a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons is that I can change the backing pad from a 150 millimeter to a 125 in you know a matter of minutes. I think Bluetooth connectivity, even though I don't use this too much at all, but it is another option if you do want to run with the Bluetooth. Another thing, the Abronet pad, definitely the best on the market. So these, these guys are the pioneers in dustless sanding and pretty much everything gets developed from the Merca and then most of the other dustless you know, system companies follow suit, as you would. But with this one, it's pretty much the lightest. Not much vibrations all that go on with this one at all. So it is an awesome machine. But in saying that, I can go from restoring an old Queenslander, an old place that's been up for a hundred years. It's not going to uh, affect me if I run the 150 back and pad with a 40 grit HD heavy duty. It's going to tear it back to bed. But then in other cases, I can swap it over to a 125. I think at the moment I'm running a 320 profile pad. So she's... She's really light. Got a new one here. The 320. So I've just switched it over. And what I've done, you can get these really soft back and pad savers as well. But then, when you're doing delicate woodwork, or even when you want to mould into corners and everything like that, this makes it perfect. Because what it does, it gives you a cushion. So if you're going around something, it, it won't dig into the corner and it won't bite. This way it sort of moulds to wherever you are going to sand and allows a nice beautiful end result. And then too, what's different compared to a lot of machines, it's got the paddle on top here. So you can pretty much control uh, what RPMs you want to be putting out of your sander with just by controlling the top paddle here. So you can be running at 10,000 RPM and then you only want to be going to a, a really soft, delicate corner or something like that. You can just ease it back. So that would be like 10,000. And you can ease it back to lower your RPM. So that way you've got a lot more control with this machine as well. These were designed and made for the woodworking profession trade. So you know they're good. So what we'll do anyway, I'm just going to go through. And I'll give you a bit of a close-up of how well this works. So this is you know, a chair that I've I've got a couple of chairs that have got to be sent back for a client of mine. And all this was done a couple of years ago, but as you can see, it's still got the gloss on it. I need to de-gloss all this, sand it all off, get all these highs and lows nice and smooth and flush. And there's no better machine to do that than the Merca. So what I'll do, I'll switch her on. There. I'll only have her on half back. You can run her at full back. I think this is the auto clean function that's going on now with the noise. So I think it's every 15 seconds it will sort of boot through, clean its system. So we'll turn off in a minute. No, it won't because I've got it on the wrong end. I've got it, this one here runs it all the time. With this one, how it's on this. Then I'll shut it on down here. This is what I do mean with your 
RPM settings and everything like that. So to turn it on and do that. So it starts off at 5,000 PSI. And just by turning that, you can see the red light turning on. So that's all the way up to 10,000. So it goes from 5,000 RPM to 10,000 RPM. But like I said, we can have it set at 10,000. And if I push this all the way down, it's going to go to its 10,000 RPM. And if I lower it, obviously, back, it's going to go lower down. So as I'll, I'll show you. So now it's going to be running on 10,000 RPM. And then when I come to a corner like this, I'll just lower it down, you know, to five or 6,000. And you'll see how it works. Now lightly, I can so you can mould really delicate with this machine and then you can tip it straight back up just lower it down when you're going around the corners See how gentle you can pretty much And with the soft pad on it as well so you'll watch I'm gonna turn it down Now we're running it all the way at 5,000 the lowest we can go at 5,000 and I can have it full ball and watch how delicate I can still do this You can completely mould and shape the timber. With this machine. Well, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. And that's exactly what I'm aiming for with this chair. We just want to degloss it. That is super smooth now. We're allowing for beautiful adhesion. Not only it's going to come up super smooth when we put it on our top coats, but because we've sanded it back nice and smooth to start off with in the first place. The same as across the top here. I just, you can know, see how you've got that bit of separation between the chairs. So over time, that will happen anyway, but we can show you how nice. So you can see how I'm actually moulding to it. Because I've got the soft backing pad on that, allows a nice soft sand and it moulds to the surface that you want to apply it to. So see how it's, so even though this has a, got a curve, it still nicely sands, it doesn't dig in, it doesn't evenly sand or anything like that. So it's nice and super smooth.
Well, there you go, peeps. So that's pretty much just with the 320 profile, like I said, of just running the 125 millimeter backing pad on there. So good thing I was saying about this machine, you can change it over. So this is the 150, just takes pretty much a couple of minutes just to unscrew this one off, put this one on with one tool. It's very, exactly the same. So with the 150 you can get different profile paddings at the back as well. And then even if you have to do something where you've got a lot of corners, so this is a 4000 profile. Avalon pad we can put it straight on a backing and look at that look how thick you're looking at you know an inch there so once that goes on the 150 look what you've got there so that is Unbelievable, look at the look at the pad on that. So even when you come to a corner, like look at that. Unbelievable. Well so you wouldn't be running a 150 on anything like this, but I was just giving you as a bit of an insight on how padded up you can go with these things. So it is going from the one to five millimeter for delicate work like this furniture any type of delicate woodwork or anything and then going to 150 all the way down to a you know HD 40 profile heavy duty pad and you can go tearing up and restoring you know exterior weatherboards uh, hardwood anything like that also Oh, uh, and no dust. So you know that your health, your client's health, is going to be a lot better off when you're running a duster system like this. So this is the main reason why I did choose the Merca system over a, a lot of the other machines, dustless systems out there. It's just things that this, the Merca has that a lot of other machines don't. But hope you enjoyed my video. Much love, positive vibes. Appreciate all the support and always watching and keeping up to date with everything we do. Respect.